guys, everyone. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, so hi everyone. So uh, I hope you are doing well. Okay, so hari ni kita bertemu dalam English Standard 5 with me, Sir Azni. Okay, hi everyone. Thank you for joining Equation Online. Okay, hope you are doing well. Stay safe during this pandemic. Okay, so hari ni kita dalam Standard 5. Ya, darjah lima, English. Okay, so... Okay, sementara while waiting for the others, while waiting for the others, mana yang lain, so, okay, so feel free untuk uh, give a text, okay, chat dalam live chat, okay, subscribe, this link, share to your friend, okay, just type equation in the YouTube, then it's up to you untuk pilih, there are various type of lesson, okay, banyak subject, alright, okay. Thank you for joining Intuition Online. Okay, so guys, basically, what I want to teach you guys is for today adalah opposite meaning. Okay, opposite meaning. Opposite meaning. Okay, so <clears throat> apa yang saya nak ajar hari ni, what I want to teach you guys is opposite meaning. So, what do you understand about opposite meaning or we call as a antonym? Okay, opposite meaning, antonym. Antonym, opposite meaning. Selalunya kita selalu dengar sinonim, right? Sinonim, sinonim, okay, perkataan seerti. But for today, kita akan belajar on the antonym ataupun opposite meaning. Opposite meaning maksudnya perkataan. Yang berlawan Okay So don't forget to subscribe YouTube edition And turn on the notification Untuk dapatkan banyak lagi update Dan subjek-subjek yang terkini The latest one Okay alright Okay Opposite meaning So bila cakap tentang opposite meaning Kita dah ada dalam mind kita dah Oh opposite meaning Perkataan yang berlawan Ataupun antony Okay It's same, benda yang sama juga dalam bahasa Melayu lah Kita cakap sinonim, same, same meaning Okay, perkataan yang sama Antonym, different uh, It's not different uh, Antonym, opposite meaning Okay, so before kita uh, akan go through one by one Kita akan tengok pada contoh yang lagi uh, mendalam Banyak lagi contoh macam mana kita nak tahu In the example also And uh, we'll ask you guys punya permission juga Saya akan, you know, use The whole of the whiteboard untuk menulis Come out dengan question So nanti kita akan discuss sama-sama Okay, alright So Jangan lupa subscribe Okay, YouTube uh, YouTube uh, Intuition, sorry Turn on the notification Okay, make sure your resolution uh, You punya, you know Kalau guna phone, make sure in a full uh, Battery, apa semua charge Okay, bring your own power bank Okay, dekatkan skin extension Apa semua, alright sebab our class in one hour, satu jam, right? If I'm mistaken, we start on 6.5, we aim 7.5. Okay, alright. So, make sure brightness, handphone, paling tinggi, okay, battery full. Pakai earphone, okay, use your your earphone uh, untuk dapatkan the sounds uh, uh, yang bermutu, berkualiti tinggi, okay. Alright. Okay, kertas soalan juga boleh download dekat description description video, okay? In this video, okay? You can get from this uh, in description this video, alright? Okay? Okay. Alright, so, okay, based on apa yang saya nak ajar hari ni, opposite meaning, okay? Opposite meaning ataupun perkataan berlawanan, antonim. So, kita ada banyak... Okay, kita ada banyak. Lepas ni kita akan cuba come out dengan satu-satu opposite meaning. Kita akan translate satu-satu dan kita akan tengok macam mana kita nak tukar opposite meaning ni 
uh, dalam perkataan yang senang which is uh, very simple words atau very simple sentences yang senang untuk kita ingat okay and what I expect to you uh, from this lesson okay from this lesson is at least you got something from here at least you got something okay daripada awak tak tahu at least awak tahu dan awak faham okay you got something alright okay again and again and again if you don't understand feel free to ask okay chat just chat give a text in the live chat all right uh, live chat bagi you know tanya je okay i i will i will try my best to help you guys okay and also video ni akan save lepas habis class once the class will finish okay this video will save and you guys can replay okay awak boleh mainkan replay untuk tengok lesson saya pada hari ini for today okay So guys, are you ready? So while waiting for the others, all right? So stay safe, eh? All right, are you ready? Let's start. Okay, hi, 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 let's start. All right, so what is opposite meaning? Opposite meaning, as I told you before, saya bagi tahu tadi, opposite meaning adalah perkataan ya berlawanan, okay? Please focus, eh, guys, berlawanan. So bila berlawanan, normally kita akan dengar Oh, sinonim. Sinonim is perkataan seerti, right? So, bila perkataan seerti, we know that, okay, perkataan seerti lah membawa maksud yang sama, same meaning. Tapi, but for today, apa yang saya nak highlightkan, saya nak ajar, I will teach you guys how to detect or how to identify, kenal pasti, antonym or opposite meaning dalam text, in text or in a question, especially in a MCQ. Because we know that, Uh, we know that uh, in uh, especially in the objective question, objective question in your UPSR, eh, standard five, in your, uh, in your real examination, got uh, if I'm not mistaken, two or three question. The question will ask you test you on antonym and the synonym as well. So if you don't have any knowledge, kalau awak tak tahu, habislah sayang. Because if you ask me, this one is a very extra bonus mark you can get. Okay. Antonym, normally antonym, a synonym, a spelling, tanda baca, benda-benda ni you tak boleh salah because to me, jawapan is dah ada dalam soalan dah. Okay, this one is bonus for you. Kalau you salah in tenses, you salah in verb, you, you salah in subject verb agreement, agreement, that one is uh, saya boleh maafkan. Tapi for me, for synonym, for antonym, itu tak boleh salah sebab that one is very bonus for you. Same goes like if uh, you, kalau you diberi satu text, you are provided by uh, satu information transfer, right? Then satu information transfer, uh, contoh lagi bagi satu advertisement, iklan. Iklan, then you have to fill in the blank, you answer, jawab. The venue, the time, and uh, the places, what is the interesting of the activity, based activities based on the advertisement. That one pun you tak boleh salah sebab all the answers in the question. Jawapan ada dalam soalan. You just ambil-ambil match saja. That one you tak boleh salah. Information transfer, synonym, antonym. Walaupun that one, kita tahu, uh, this, that one is uh, this, you know, this, this kind of Uh, material kita bila kita habis uh, material lah subtopik subtopik ni cakap alah senang je lah it's very kacang you know dalam kacang-kacang tu you must pay a full uh, you must pay, pay attention dan very please 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 very careful and cautious because sometimes kita akan might might do mistake juga on the antonym okay opposite meaning uh, uh, opposite meaning betul lah okay opposite meaning so Uh, as I told you before, in <coughs> real examination, benda ni ada, okay, dalam you punya, if I know second paper one, your paper one, got got two or three question lah, okay, lepas tu you akan come out dengan spelling, baru lagi akan pergi pada text, tenses, okay, dan ada reading comprehension, alright, so antonym ni you kena betul-betul master lah, kena faham, alright, so very simple one, okay, so before that, uh, I ask permission, izinkan saya untuk menulis uh, a little bit about uh, a positive meaning supaya kita nampak lagi jelas, alright, okay. Okay. Alright, nampak tak? Okay, this one is very simple one, okay? So, sebelum before kita pergi pada question, sebelum kita pergi pada question, kita kena tahu we must 
No forest, what is the opposite meaning? Apa dia perkataan berlawan? So, bila perkataan berlawanan, normally kita akan tahu oh, perkataan berlawanan contoh cantik, lawannya hodoh. Tinggi, lawannya rendah. Ya, yeah, saya rendah. Ah, uh, Apa lagi eh? Tall, short, uh, beautiful, ugly, handsome, ugly, okay, and also hard, soft. Okay, itu adalah opposite meaning normally yang common one yang normally kita tahulah. Alright, okay. So, saya come out dengan example yang sangat simple. Okay, sangat simple one. C first, okay. Able. Able. Able, maksudnya boleh. Ability. Ability. Able. So, opposite meaning dia akan jadi un, unable. Able, unable. Arrive. What is arrive guys? Arrive. Arrive, arrive, tiba, sampai So bila arrive, tiba, sampai So bila opposite meaning akan jadi Pergi Alright, what is pergi? Leave Okay, arrive, lawannya Leave Okay, tapi But If my lesson today I'm talking about synonym, same meaning Arrive ni akan jadi rich Kan, rich Bukan rich kaya eh It's not rich kaya, R-I-C-H R-E-A-C-H R E A C H rich okay arrive opposite meaning dia leave able unable beauty as i talk with before uh, talk with before beauty ni kan ugly simple lah kan uh, agree bersetuju agree opposite meaning akan jadi disagree tidak setuju disagree okay ini adalah simple simple things yang You know, uh, opposite meaning yang kita boleh tukar lah. Again, uh, bitter, 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 bitter. Opposite meaning untuk bitter adalah sweet, okay? Bitter, pahit, mesti lawan dia sweet, okay? Sweet. <coughs> Bukan sweet gula-gula eh, sweet manis lah. It stays, rasa. Okay. Alright, let's Proceed uh, to the exercise. Okay, kita pergi pada exercise. So, you guys so far, uh, you faham? Do you have any question? Okay, again, feel free to ask. Okay, just text. Okay, give a text, type on your keyboard ke apa ke. Kalau tak ada keyboard on your laptop, using your phone as well. Just apa, you feel free to ask, give a question in live chat. Okay, so I will try my best to help you guys. Okay, alright. So, are you ready untuk kita pergi pada question? Go through one by one. The question for opposite meaning. Okay? Okay. Uh, I will remind you guys again. Okay? So, disebabkan kita limited of space. Uh, dan saya uh, have to apologize first dengan tulisan saya yang tak berapa nak cantik ni for sure. Saya akan padam dan saya akan come out dengan uh, ada lagi beberapa exercise. But, exercise but uh, kita akan discuss lah. Ada two-way communication, okay? Ada two-way communication with you guys, okay? Alright, so I repeat it again. Opposite meaning, bitter, sweet, able, unable, arrive, leave, beauty, ugly, agree, disagree. Okay, alright? <coughs> okay, alright. Let's see the first exercise, guys. Let's see the first exercise, okay? The old woman, the old woman walk with a cocked stick, okay? The old woman walk with a cocked stick. Maksudnya, seorang wanita tua, berja tua berjalan dengan tongkat yang bengkok, okay? Right? Cocked, cocked maksudnya bengkok. Maksudnya bengkok lah. Okay, I don't have to explain more lah. Waktu tahu what is Bangkok, right? Okay, the old woman walk with a cocked stick. So, sekarang ni, instruction, okay, arahan, you have to change, okay, the words, the underlined words in antonym, opposite meaning. Bukan sinonim eh, opposite meaning. I, I repeat it again, opposite meaning. Perkataan yang berlawanan. Okay, perkataan yang berlawanan. Okay, the old woman walk with a cocked stick. Okay, cocked stick. A, we have straight. B, long, C, short, D, curve. What is your answer? 
Okay? Kita ada straight. Straight maksudnya luruslah. Panjang. Long is salah. Straight lurus. Okay, for sure straight lurus. Long panjang, short and curve. Okay, so paling tepat sekali adalah dan sing is the old woman walk with a crooked stick. Okay, dia berjalan dengan kayu yang bengkok. So, crooked dia punya opposite meaning adalah straight. Okay. Nampak tak? Alright. Straight. Okay. Dan sing is straight. Alright. Number two. Okay. His brother, his brother is strong but his sister is, ah, nampak tak? Okay. His brother, abang dia kuat. Okay. But his sister is, so sekarang ni kita tahu, okay, strong. Uh, the answer you might, uh, the answer you have to give in uh, Anthony one opposite meaning. But it's at the same time, the words, uh, the underlying words you may, may, may change, you may, you have to change in Anthony also. Okay, so kakak dia, abang dia kuat, minkuat, adik dia akan jadi weak. Nampak tak? Lemah. Okay, you can't say, you know what is timid guys? Timid. Timid adalah pemalu. Okay, pemalu. Timid. Sifat pemalu. <coughs> pemalu, okay. Pemalulah, try. Brave, berani. Okay, berani. Bok, otaklah. Alright, okay. Weak, strong, weak. Okay, lemah. Alright. Okay. It is safe, it is safe to swim in the swimming pool. Oh, sorry. It was my mistake. I'm so sorry. Sebab saya tak ada like the words. Safe. So, perkataan safe ni kita kena tengok balik. Kita kena ada like. Okay. It is safe to swim in the swimming pool. Safe. What is safe, guys? Kita ada dua safe. Satu safe selamat, satu safe. Very smart, you know. Tapi safe dalam konteks saya ni is selamatlah. Alright. It is safe to swimming in the swimming pool. Safe. Okay. It is safe to swim in the swimming pool. Safe. Safe. Antonym, opposite meaning akan jadi protect, dangerous, careful or shine. Shining. Protect, melindungi. You know. Dangerous, bahaya. Careful, berhati-hati. Shining. Shine, shine, shine. Berkilat lah. Okay, shine. So, the correct one is safe. Sama dengan A. Visit ini akan jadi dangerous. Okay. Okay. Cockhead, straight. Visit ini eh. Strong, weak and also safe, dangerous. Okay. So far, do you have any question? Ada soalan? So, if you have any question, okay. Give a text, okay, in the live chat, guys. Feel free to ask. Jangan malu. Kalau awak malu, uh, saya pun tak boleh tolong apa lah. Alright? Sebab, um, if you ask me, then I will try my best to help you. But if you don't understand, nobody can help you lah. Okay, am I right? Okay? Alright, okay. So, I need more space. Saya akan padam dan saya akan uh, bagi the new question untuk kita bincang. So, I will ask you guys the permission to give me some time to do this. Okay, all right. Okay, guys. Uh, if you don't understand, please ask. Eh, tolong tanya kalau tak faham, right? Okay, so tadi just now number three, kita come out dengan number four, okay? So number four, right? The knife is very sharp, okay? Sharp. So kita dah tahu dah, what is sharp? Sharp is tajam, okay? So kita kena cari dia punya opposite meaning, okay? We have heavy, light, blunt, and the Four. All right. Number four. Okay, number five. All right, number five. They could not eat the biscuit. 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 
I'm so sorry for my handwriting. Eh? I'm so sorry for my handwriting. If you have any question, please ask. Yeah? Jangan malu. Okay. They could not eat the biscuit, 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 biscuit because it was too hard. Okay. So we have a soft, a big, huge, and small. Okay. Number six, last one. Okay. All right. Last one, last one, last one. Okay. The vegetables are fresh. Okay. This one is very, bagi saya benda yang baru. Okay. Kita kena tengok. All right. Alright, okay. Kalau kita sempat, maybe right, uh, kita akan come out dengan 15 question, 15 question. But uh, we'll see, kita akan tengok macam mana masa nanti, right? So, so far, kita dah ada 3 question, come out following by 3 lagi, so ada 6. Okay, alright. Okay, let's guys, see. Okay, the knife is very sharp, 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 sharp. Okay, sharp dalam arti kata lain kita baca kat sharp ni, uh, sharp, 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 bukan sharp kena, apa eh, uh, sharp dekat sini tajam, uh, I mean kalau dalam konteks lain sharp juga kita boleh cakap sharp uh, is a brain, okay, jenama, right, is, is a brain, sharp, and all, and also sharp is a brain, a sharp, brain, uh, sharp, pancuan lah, tepat, tepat, okay, sharp, okay, the knife is very sharp, tajam, okay, kita tengok, Heavy. What is heavy, guys? Heavy is berat. Heavy. Berat. Light. Very light one. Orang selalu cakap light je lah. Light. Very light. Ringan-ringan, you know. Very ringan lah. Light. Also, boleh juga light untuk cahaya lah. Okay. Depends on the situation, on context, on the sentences sometimes. Okay. Blunt. What is blunt? Blunt. Tumpul. Okay. Poor. Susah atau miskin. Okay, alright. So, the knife is very sharp. Opposite opposite meaning ataupun antonym bagi sharp. Okay, perkataan yang berlawanan bagi sharp. Heavy, light, blunt, poor. So, the answer is, yes, blunt. Tumpul, okay. It is a blunt. Okay, blunt, tumpul, alright. Okay, I do understand actually. Let me interrupt sikit sebelum saya proceed to another question, okay. I do understand sebenarnya, mungkin macam heavy, light, poor ni awak tahulah. Kenapa benda ni boleh jadi salah sometimes in your, you know, in your real examination dalam exercise. Sebab, one more thing awak tak tahu, you don't know, awak, you have a lack of knowledge, lack knowledge, you know, you masih tak cukup powerful and enrich you punya vocab. Kalau you tak tahu blunt, exactly you tak akan boleh jawab soalan. You tak tahu, okay, blunt tu tumpul, lawannya sharp. So, actually, it's it's good. It's good, uh, it's a bonus extra for you guys untuk banyakkan membaca, you know. Okay, like, it sounds cliche lah kalau saya cakap kena banyak membaca, you know. English punya buku, sebab for me pun saya bosan kalau you suruh, you know. If you ask me, bosan nak suruh baca buku banyak-banyak apa benda, kena banyak buku baca. Just, you know, just kita ikut arus, follow follow the flow, ikut je teknologi, okay. So, bila you tengok the, you know, ada iklan atau artikel-artikel normally in social media, that one is linked to Twitter, Instagram, any social media link, please read. Please read and go through one by one. Read. So, bila awak baca, I do believe awak takkan baca bodoh-bodoh. Awak takkan baca macam butuh-butuh tuli, butuh-butuh ayam, macam no. Okay, I do believe. Awak baca, awak akan tanya, apa benda yang aku baca ni, right? Ada certain-certain words, certain perkataan, awak cari, okay? Walaupun even though saya cakap it sounds cliche lah kalau saya cakap, janganlah guna Google Translate, it's not guna Google Translate. Kenapa? Kitab English adalah, kita ada dictionary. Kena guna dictionary kita, English, English, Malay. Atau ikut English, Malay. But it's good kalau kita boleh translate uh, perkataan tu from English to English and Malay. Instead of English, Malay. Alright? Tapi kalau untuk permulaan, as a beginner, it's okay untuk awak use, uh, untuk gunakan Google Translate. Tapi it's not good sebab tak semua perkataan Google Translate itu betul. Sometimes, it might have a direct translation. Right? Bila direct, direct translation, it's not good lah untuk you guys. Okay, alright? So, macam belah ni saya, saya cakap tadi, 
Ada for uh, sesetengah student dia tak tahu what is blind Sebab I can say kenapa dia tak tahu Mungkin salah satu dia tak tahu dan Lack of knowledge lah Bila kurang knowledge Awak tak banyak membaca apa semua Tak banyak you know uh, Dapat banyak input uh, Inilah akan jadi macam You know kita dah tahu dah Oh opposite meaning Perkataan berlawanan You know that antonym Tapi bila dah ada plan macam Alamak Apa plan tadi eh uh, Sebab tu saya cakap tadi I know Saya pun malas nak baca buku Tapi rajin-rajinkan Go to the you know A simple website Pergi access Bila kita main phone You normally bila kita go through my phone Akan ada social media lah Right in a Twitter, Instagram or anything lah WhatsApp ke Benda-benda yang related dengan English tu buka Baca open Okay the document dan baca Dan bila awak baca tu janganlah baca like Macam-baca macam apa orang cakap Nak tak nak je right Macam effort tu macam boleh lah Asal ada uh, No lah Itu kita lah at least You put effort Oh okay aku tak faham kata ni I will search I will search okay Surfing the internet, kita akan layari, kita akan cari Kena ada, you know, uh, I mean, kena ada inisiatif lah untuk mencari Okay, seeking more, find more, you know, the new words Okay, new words, new sentences, alright Okay, number five Okay They could not, they could not eat the biscuit because it was too hard Dia, dia orang tak boleh makan biskut tu sebab terlalu keras So sekarang ni the underlying word is hard. What is the opposite meaning for hard? Okay, opposite meaning for hard. So we have soft, big, huge, small. Huge, kena ingat, bila saya cakap tentang sinonim, huge adalah maksudnya besar. Okay, sama dengan big lah. Alright, so hard, sama dengan uh, opposite meaning for hard is soft. Opposite meaning hard. Keras kan? Soft. Dia orang tak boleh makan sebab biskit tu keras Kalau beli orang tua lah yang tak ada gigi okay? Kalau orang muda You tell me orang muda tak boleh makan sebab keras Memang saya tak boleh cakap apa lah Okay, tanggal je Okay, gigi you Alright, the vegetable are fresh Okay, the vegetable are fresh Okay, sayur-sayur yang dijual The vegetable are fresh So sekarang ni, fresh What is fresh? Fresh is segar Alright Izati Arha Hai Izati Okay Fresh The vegetable are fresh Okay So the underlying words is fresh So we have to change the fresh in opposite meaning Kita kena tukar perkataan uh, antonym Perkataan yang berlawanan untuk fresh Okay so we have Stale New Tasty What is your answer? What is your answer? The, the vegetable are fresh So sekarang ni Fresh is segar Okay, so what is the opposite meaning for fresh? Okay, uh, perkataan berlawanan untuk fresh. So kita ada stale, new, tasty. So what is your answer? Feel free to ask. Okay, you can give your answer in a live chat. Alright. So new, maksudnya baru. Tasty, delicious lah, sedap. Stale, maksudnya stale ni. Uh, what is stale? Huh? Stale, uh, stale maksudnya tak segar lah, dah buruk. Layu, macam tu lah sounds like macam layu, tak segar, dah buruk, stale, stale Okay, so the answer is, uh, opposite meaning for fresh is stale Okay, the opposite meaning is stale yes, eh? Tak segar lah, right, stale Okay, same goes to macam ni lah, as I told you before, stale Kalau awak tak tahu stale, awak tak tahu blunt uh, Memang susah lah, ini awak memang kena tahu sebab Sometimes it stays on your grammar lah On your grammar and paper one normally in real examination. Okay, so far we have any question? Faham? So can I proceed to another question? Uh, question seven, eight, nine maybe. Kalau kita sempat kita pergi pada fifteen question. Kalau sempat, kalau tak, I will see lah berapa yang kita sempat. Okay, alright. So saya akan padam. Okay. Okay guys, if you have any question, okay, just uh, give in the box, live chat, okay, tanya, jangan tak tanya, right? Okay, number seven, okay, let's read together, right, please. Fatima. 
except her frame invitation invitation to the party okay so we have a respond reject and C answer. Alright? Number seven. Okay, number eight. Okay, number eight. We have right. Uh number eight. Mm. Number eight, number eight, very simple one. Okay, Farina, Farina Los Los her earring. Earring, A R I N G, earring. Double R, sorry, earring. So we have a saw, a found, then we have a look, and the cover. Okay, all right? Okay. Okay, number nine, all right? Stay tuned, guys. Okay, stay tuned. Right, so I hope you guys masih bersemangat lagi, okay? Sebab kita we still have we got another thirty more minutes, okay? Thirty more minutes, right? Okay. He always, he always speak, he always speak loudly. He always okay. Uh, I'm so sorry for my handwriting. Ini dah the best yang saya nak boleh bagi, okay? Loudly. To his parent. So we have A, B, C, D. Okay, we have wisely, honestly, okay, proudly, and softly. Okay, let's see, guys. So, siapa siapa yang baru masuk live chat, kita dah masuk soalan yang ke tujuh. Okay, seven, one until six, we have done already. So, kita masuk yang ketujuh. Okay, question number seven. So, if you are, kalau masih terpinga-pinga, or you lose, okay, lost, it's not lose, sorry, you're lost, or disappear, okay, I tell you again, okay, share, hari ini kita belajar about opposite meaning. Opposite meaning maksudnya perkataan berlawanan, perkataan seerti. Alright, let's see. Okay, where's my black marker just now? Okay. Fatima accept her friend invitation to the party. Dia menerima jemputan party kawan dia invitation. Okay. Okay. Invite invitation. Okay. So invitation dia punya uh, opposite meaning become we have respond, reject, answer. What is respond? Respond maksudnya maklum balas lah. Respond, reply, maklum balas, you know. Reject, menolak. Okay, reject. Reject sama dengan reluctant. Okay, reluctant. Reluctant or reject or reject lah, reject. Ada lagi ya perkataan yang sinonim reject? Let me know kalau awak ada lagi perkataan. You know, sometimes saya pun lost juga. Answer, jawapan. So, invitation. Invitation, jemputan. So, invitation, jemputan, dia punya opposite meaning adalah What is your answer? A, B, O, C. For number seven. Hmm? A, B, O, C. Reject, correct, good, exactly, reject, okay? So, jemputan, invite, invite is, uh, it's not jemput, betul lah jemputan, menjemput, invitation, jemputan, okay? So, opposite meaning akan jadi reject, okay? Menerima, menolak, okay? It's B, good, okay? Next one, Farina lost her earring, earring, subang, subang, okay? So, dia kehilangan, Subang dia, right? Opposite meaning become A, saw Okay B, found C, look D, cover Cover, cover, cover Okay, what is your answer? Number number A We have A, B, C, D Opposite meaning for loss Okay, opposite meaning for loss <coughs> Perkataan yang berlawanan untuk hilang What is your answer? A, B, C, D. So, the answer is 
melihat jumpa melihat sama lah cover cover lah menutupi so the answer is good found okay good found okay opposite meaning dia akan jadi found alright lost become found lost lost and found biasa kita dengarkan lost and found macam treasure hunt kan treasure hunt ni treasure hunt macam cari lost and found ataupun sometimes bila benda-benda yang hilang akan ada di mana-mana tempat lah public public tempat lagi okay, dia akan sediakan provide the boxes dan dia akan cakap lost and found lah siapa-siapa yang tertinggal tu letaklah dalam tu kita akan dapat paper ke paper ke sock ke macam-macam dalam tu lost and found okay sometimes orang yang bukan mengaku barang ni pun dia macam okay then my staff dia mengaku je kan macam benda aku alright okay so Uh, what is this? He always speak. He always speak loudly to his parent. He always speak loudly to his parent. So we know that dia sangat kurang ajar. This is very rude lah. Okay. So sekarang ni, loudly adalah uh, perkataan yang digaris. The underlined words, loudly. Okay. So we have choices of answer. Wisely, honestly, proudly, softly. Okay. So, opposite meaning for loudly is, what is your answer? Loudly. Wisely, honestly, proudly, softly. So, the answer is... Izati, are you still there? Are you there? Kalau ada, maybe you boleh respond. What is the answer? Number nine. Softly. Good. Thank you, Izati. Alright, the answer is... Softly, alright? Loudly, secara loud lah, kasar. Kasar eh, kuat lah, right? So, softly become very gentle lah, very, you know, lemah lembut. Okay, alright? Okay, stay tuned. Masih bersemangat lagi, right? So, I will continue on question 10, 11 and 12, alright? Okay, so, we have any question? So, guys, you have any question? I tell you again, okay? Just... Give in a box, chat, live chat, okay? Alright, see number 10. Alright, number 10. Okay, we'll see number 10. Okay. Dato Yusuf. Wah, wow. macam dah dengar Dato' dah macam dah tahu dah Oh, what kind of answer will be asked, okay? We taste so, Dato' Yusuf is a generous man Generous man, so we have rich, kind, careless, and be stingy Okay, number 10 11, number 11, we have, okay, it was very exciting, it was very exciting, so exciting adalah words, underline words, underline words, perkataan yang digariskan, so we have said, be blow, and see boring, and be fascinating. C, make it, okay? Alright, so maybe sambil-sambil tu, sambil-sambil saya menulis, okay? You can also uh, boleh uh, cari jawapan and at the same time, boleh cari maksud juga, alright? So, nanti bila saya tanya, okay, so I know, oh, you are there untuk bagi jawapan, right? So, what is careless, what is stingy, fascinating, uh, so boleh-boleh sambil-sambil tu cari, you know, find the words, find the meaning, okay, right? Okay, clef. The aeroplane flies above the sky. Above. Okay, so choices of answer we have A on B below C in D opposite. Okay, number 13. So, 13, we have, okay, I'm so sorry, second energy makan space, but actually my target is at least uh, we discuss 15 questions on the opposite meaning today, okay, okay, uh, uh, okay, 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 
We will go back. Now, okay, ada lain words? Go. Sambil-sambil tu, you can find the answer, okay? Boleh cari maksud, find the meaning, okay? So, we have A, run, become, C, escape, D, arrive. Okay. Question 14. Question 14, okay. Ahmed, true, the ball, the ball, okay, and his dog, yeah, okay, so we have A, B, C, D, we have a puts, guys, keeps, catch, and holes, okay, stay tuned, guys, okay, Alright, stay tuned. Masih bersemangat, right? Last question, okay? Last question, last question for today, okay? Last one, last one. Okay. Winning the competition. Has brought her fame. Her fame. Ah, the new word. What is fame, guys? What is fame? So, sambil sambil tu boleh cari. Okay, what is fame? We have A, 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 A. Famous for which unknown. Okay, right. Okay, all right. Wow, good. Fame, terkenal, good. Thank you, Zaki. Correct. Okay, guys, let's discuss. All right, so we have another more. We start 16, right? So we will end 17. 17, saya akan habis 75 lah. Sebab 5 minit tu, saya akan recap. Dan kita akan share, you know, some input lah kepada you guys. Okay, all right. Izati Arha, which school you are from, Izati? Awak daripada sekolah mana? Taman SK Taman Medan eh? Oh, Dato' Harun, maybe? So you are standard five, right? So I'm guessing you are standard five lah. So you join my video on standard five, right? Is that the Arha? You're from SK Taman Medan, eh? Or Dato' Harun? Or maybe from other schools from uh, from BJ? SK Bandar Tasik Selatan. Aha! Oh, guys. Nice, nice. Tasik Selatan. Near TBS, right? Bandar Tasik Selatan. Near TBS, kan? Tasik Selatan. I get used, uh, I'm quite familiar with that area before. Okay, saya agak familiar. Tasik Selatan. Near TBS, near we fall, because after we pass, pass by the, you know, if I'm not mistaken, the Cheras and Pandatu Raza, so kita akan nampak. Nearby lah, nearby lah dekat area situ. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh yes, SK Bandar Tasik Selatan. So, hi Izati. Okay, thanks for join my live, join my video. Okay, alright. Okay, number 10, we'll see. Dr. Yusuf is a generous man. What is generous, guys? What is generous? What is generous? Generous maksudnya berhati mulia. Baik lah. Okay, berhati mulia. So, A, opposite meaning for generous. We have rich. B, kind. C, careless. D, stingy. Yes, good. Generous. Pemurah. Baik hatilah. Kind. With a kind heart. But kind heart. Pemurah. So, pemurah. Generous. Opposite meaning lawan katanya adalah correct. Stingy. Terdekut. Okay, stingy. Alright, stingy. Okay, alright. So, bila Dato' Yusuf kalau dalam sinonim, maybe I can say 
Okay, dalam sinonim, uh, generous ni sama dengan which. Tapi sekarang kita berbincang, we discuss about antonym. Okay, antonym. Maksudnya, uh, uh, opposite meaning lah. So, opposite meaning for generous is a stingy. Okay, eleven. It was very exciting. <coughs> It was very exciting. What is exciting? Exciting is menerujakan. Sangat teruja. I feel very excited. Excited is perasaan, right? Excited is perasaan. Exciting salah satu yang menerujakan macam benda macam ah exciting, you know, with the feeling, emotion, you know. So, opposite meaning for exciting, we have sad, a sad, be blow, see boring, be fascinating. What is your answer? What is your answer? Hmm? For number 10, eh, sorry, number 11. It was very exciting. We have say, low, boring, fascinating. A, B, C, D. Yes, boring. Good. Okay, boring. So the answer is boring. Opposite meaning dia adalah boring. Say, takkan mungkin. It can't be say, low, low lah. What is fascinating? What is fascinating? Okay, I, I ask you, uh, masa-masa saya sambil menulis, you boleh cari. Okay, what is fascinating? Fascinating maksudnya Fascinating Fascinating maksudnya Fascinating Fascinating Wonderful Fascinating sama dengan Wonderful Okay sama dengan interesting Okay Interest Inter are Interesting Interesting Okay Fascinating Interesting, wonderful, yes, menarik. Thank you, Izzati, menarik. Some, something yang can attract you punya feeling lah. Okay, bila uh, you dalam certain situation, right? Fascinating. Wonderful, interesting. Okay, number 12, alright? The aeroplane flies above the sky. Okay, so the underlined words above, di atas. Okay, above. Okay. Opposite meaning for above, we have on, below, in, opposite. So, ini adalah preposition. Okay, preposition ataupun I, I can say kata arah lah. Direction. Okay, on, below, in, opposite. So, above. Opposite meaning for above is, apa dia? Above. Above, above. Above di atas. So, di atas, lawannya, of course lah. The answer is below. Okay? Below. The answer is below. Okay? The aeroplane flies above the sky. Below. Okay? The answer is below. Good. Below. Alright? 14. Okay? Kecil sikit. Agak kecil sikit tapi I, I hope you boleh nampak lah. Okay? We will go back now. We will go back now. So we have run, come, escape, arrive. Okay. Opposite meaning for go. Opposite meaning for go. Apa dia? Lawan kata, lawan kata bagi go. Run, come, escape, arrive. What is your answer? We will go back. Go. Balik. Kan balik. So, bila balik, opposite meaning for balik, lawannya datang. Kan datang is what? Run, come, escape, arrive. So, the answer is come. Okay, the answer is come. B, eh? We will go back. Okay? Go back now. So, go, lawan katanya come. Pergi dan datang. Come. Yes, thank you. Alright, 14. No, the last one eh. Last one, 15. Sikit je lagi. Ahmed throw the ball and his dog eat. Ahmed throw the balls. Okay, dia buat bola. And his dog. So, ada dua subjek. Ahmed throw the balls. Okay, Ahmed buang bola. And dog, uh, her dog, right? Her dog, his dog. Oh, his or her. Sorry, Ahmed is a woman. Sorry guys, it was my mistake. Her. So, her. 
Her dog Apa yang dia buat So opposite meaning So bila dia throw Buat Buat Throw Opposite meaning for throw is what? A man throw And her dog Tangkap balik What is that? Okay Puts We have put choices of answer Puts Keeps Catch And hold Okay And hold What is your answer? Puts Letak Keep Simpan Catch Tangkap Hold Hold lah Hold the principle Hold Hold Pegang Okay What is your answer? A, B, C, D hmm? A, B, C, D 14 Number 14 Ahmed throw, Ahmed dia buang bola dan dia punya uh, her dog tangkap balik bola tu. So we have puts, escape, keeps, eh, escape pula. Sorry, puts, keep, catch and hold. So what is your answer? Aida Shahira. Yes, hi Aida. Yes, the answer is catch. Good, okay. Throw, opposite meaning dia, catch. Lawan kata dia catch. Okay, tangkap semula. Catch. Alright. Okay, guys. Last question. Last question. Okay, last question for today. Winning the competition has brought her fame. Okay. Winning the competition has brought her fame. Winning the competition has brought her fame. Memenangi pertanyaan itu membawa fame. What is fame just now? Uh, membawa... Uh, Membawa kepada popular lah Membawa kepada popularity dia Okay, memandangi, memandangi pertandingan itu Membawa kepada popularity dia So now, if I'm talking about synonym Synonym, kita boleh tukar fame pada famous Kan, betul tak? Fame, we know that fame adalah famous Fame is for popular Okay <coughs> You learn something today, fame, kena ingat F-A-M-E, fame adalah famous Terkenal, okay Terkenal, alright So, we have famous for which unknown? Unknown. What is your answer? Number 15. Good Izati unknown. Kenapa unknown? What is unknown Izati? What do you understand by unknown? Unknown is uh, tak diketahui. Bila tak diketahui, maksudnya hilang. Disappear. Maksudnya tak dikenali. Okay. So that one is opposite meaning for fame. Okay. Tidak dikenali. Correct. Good Izati. Okay. Good Izati Arhab. Alright, so I'm not. Alright, winning the competition has brought her fame. Fame uh, terkenal dia punya uh, antonym adalah I'm not. Tidak dikenali. Kalau kita bercakap tentang sinoni, famous lah. Okay, for which rich for. Okay, rich for. Okay, guys, fifteen question set. Reach my target. Memang saya punya target. 15 soalan untuk today kita compilekan for antonym opposite meaning. Tapi for me kalau tak sampai pun about 10 to 12 is okay. It's good actually for uh, when we have a physical class, you know. So at least kita boleh banyak. I can, I can provide more exercise for you guys. So daripada exercise yang banyak tu, daripada situ I can, uh, kita asal boleh tahu lah you punya weakness. Apa yang boleh kita, you know, kita perbaiki. Kita fix it, we pay it again, you know. The antonym one, alright. Antonym opposite meaning. For the synonym one, I think tak ada masalah sangat. Okay guys, do you have any question so far? Ada soalan? Do you have any question? Feel free to ask the live chat. Okay, live chat, just, you know, types on your keyboard, using your phone. Okay, feel free to ask and I'm trying my best to give, to uh, solve your problem. Okay, to give the best solution for you guys. Okay, all right. Stay safe, ah! Huh? Please stay safe during this pandemic. All right. So nowadays, kita ada technology. Okay. Uh, we really hope that you know this pandemic will end soon. Okay. To break this change, what we have to do is to break this change. This change. Stay at home. Okay. Stay safe. All right. Okay, guys. Do you have any question? Sebelum before saya recap balik everything, just uh, in a few minutes. Lama sebab kita dah nak habis. All right. It's running time. Okay. Now, do you have any question? So I guess tak ada soalan eh. Alright. Okay. Alright. So guys, what I expect from today is at least you learn something. Okay, you learn something from what I shared to you just now. Okay, you learn something. 
you learn something maksudnya dekat sini you learn something antonym opposite words opposite meaning you learn something and you try to digest you try to understand by your own understand okay sebab bila kita cakap konsep understanding it's not easy tapi awak kena faham dekat sini understand the words okay ada inisiatif untuk mencari seeking or find the new words new sentences because bila awak tahu you know you can enrich your your, your knowledge you know Enrich your knowledge bila, okay, you know daripada satu perkataan ke satu perkataan, oh, okay, I know that. Yes, this is the words, we know that. Yeah, it's come from the antonym one, then synonym, synonym, opposite meaning, kita dah tahu dah. So, after this, tak adalah kita macam, ah, terpinga-pinga, okay. When people ask you, uh, so, uh, blah, 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 so, ever, contoh, okay. Bila saya cakap enrich just now, what is enrich? Enrich. Enrich, we know that memperkayakan. So, what is the synonym for enrich? Enrich maksudnya to increase, to improve, akan okay, meningkatkan. Itu dari segi sinonim. Tapi dari segi, kalau dari segi antonim, dari segi opposite meaning, opposite meaning, enrich, maksudnya akan jadi lack of lah, berkurangan, decrease, okay. Dia macam kurang lah, alright. Okay, okay guys, so saya recap balik, okay. Opposite meaning, uh, very uh, important walaupun even, Jangan nampak pandang like ah uh, this one is very simple. Memang very simple one. Tapi you have to be very careful, cautious. Sebab sangat berhati-hati lah. Sebab this question will be asked, will be test on your paper one. I got two, three question. Juga akan ditanya on the antonym, antonym, ah uh, okay, antonym, ah uh, opposite meaning. Okay, alright. So okay, uh, so saya just nak sentuh a little bit ah uh, sikit-sikit. You know, ah uh, got a few lah tadi just now. I forgot already. Saya dah lost. Oh yeah, okay. I remember. Perkataan-perkataan yang awak baru dapat hari ini, try to digest. Okay, ingat, 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 please remember. Jangan masuk kanan dan keluar kiri. Okay, try to digest and you know, perkataan-perkataan ini membawa perkara ke, uh, the bring the various types of words, okay, dan variation lah. Contoh macam, you know, a blunt, just not blunt, what is blunt, you know, faint. Okay, we have a stale, blunt, tumpul, stale, uh, stale, lawannya, lawan, because it meaning fresh lah. Okay, uh, unknown, uh, fame, okay, perkataan-perkataan, I mean, uh, certain perkataan yang baru, fascinating, just now, okay, thank you so much for Izati, Izati, right, cari tadi Aida, Aida or Izati, I forgot already, but uh, both of you, thank you so much for join my, uh, join my video, join my live, okay, fascinating, so fascinating, we know that, oh, fascinating is a wonderful, interesting, itu daripada sinonim, maksudnya menarik, tapi kalau dari segi antonym, dari segi opposite meaning, dia akan jadi, oh, so bored, Boring, you know, benda yang tak energetic. So, macam benda yang passive lah, right? Really passive. Okay, guys. So, do you have any questions so far? Okay, guys. So, uh, video ni uh, boleh play balik lepas habis kelas. You don't have to worry. Okay, you can replay again, again and again. Alright. So, thank you, Izati, Aida and all uh, siapa-siapa sahaja yang akan, you know, watch my video. Thank you so much for your participation, okay? Feel free to ask, uh, leave a comment, share this link to your friend, okay? So, <coughs> last one. Last but not least. <laughs> last but not least, I'm again asking. If you have any question, you can ask, okay? Kalau ada soalan, boleh tanya, okay? You can ask, alright? Okay? Yeah. So, kalau tak ada soalan, so I think we will end our video. I will end here. And thank you so much for joining my class and see you guys next week. Bye. Thank you.